Okay, so we finally figured out what to do with the truck. Now we're in some kind of graveyard and there's a church right there. I feel... This way, Papa. Come and see. Will it hatch? Can we take it home? Yes, my darlings. Of course we can take it home. Yeah, they must be talking about the stone egg. This is a buried pig carcass. It's kind of weird. Um, so apparently, um, wait, what was I even going to say? I forgot what I was going to say, but, um, we escaped a pig monster while filling up that thing. Now we're, like, near a church. Whoa. My game just, like, froze for a second. I feel a little bit safer because... Um, because we're in a church. And I don't think anything would attack us in a church. Oh, fucking shit! What is that? Is that? Please tell me that's not what we're... That, that looks like what I saw. It's the fucking monster. It is. It's here. What is it? It fucking looks horrible. I don't like it. Please, no. Let's just go into the fucking church. in Bibles. The wires came up out of the ground whilst he lay on the grass asleep like serpents they were and they burrowed into his ears and became his listening. It's a church. You're safe here. You're safe in the church. Okay? Nothing is going to happen in here. Um... Let's just look at this and I have something to say. Um, we sat here, I remember. We sat in our black and we mourned. And we prayed and we bowed our heads. How I hated God then. How I spurned him. If this is our Lord, this pig who robbed me of my wife, then I refute his embrace. I will carve a new God for us all. Such madness. Such a fool I was. If such blasphemous ravings had remained within me, I would be doomed. But even here, I feel the machine throb beneath the flags, and I know my path awaits me. Okay, so beneath the church. So something beneath the church. Um, this game is scaring me more than, a, than the first one, surprisingly. There's so many doors. Why is there so many doors? I can't deal with so many doors. There's so many. You're in a church. You're safe. Whoa. You're safe in the church. The church is a safe place. See, if I tell myself it's safe, then I feel a little bit better. Twin candles bent to the will of the central saint, casting light to the corners of the chapel. Father Jeremiah, I thought, could be trusted with the secret. But he is like all the others. So the old priest has gone to the holding pens with his flock. He says he will enter into our world with them. A shepherd indeed. Okay, so Father Jeremiah was trusted by Mandis with something. And apparently he did not. Um, his tr um, he betrayed Mandis' trust with that. And he was sent to the slaughtering pens with the pigs, apparently. Like... Um, I read in a review of this game that like the reading was hard to interpret. I don't think it is, but that's probably because I'm an English major. Um, but I agree, it's um, it's a little bit hard, especially if you're like a younger person playing this game. Okay, so holy shit, this place is huge. Why did we have to enter through the basement? Your face shackles your vision, Professor. It is an iron coffin that keeps you from grasping the future. We require a new deity, one of steam and the wheel of magnetism and progress. The old god is nothing more than a lamed hog, spitting back awful at mankind. Okay, so Mandis rejected God and now he's, he's created some kind of machine to serve as a new god. I don't like the sound of it. Really ominous. 
I'm sure something scary is going to happen, but I don't know if I'm in, if they really put me in any real danger in a church. Why can't I enter this door? Oh, oh shit! Getting married. I've always wanted to be married. Thank you all for coming. Oh shit! This is grotesque and dark. And <laughs> piano is really lovely, but it's fucking creepy as hell. Some kind of mechanism. A secret and infernal, no doubt. The missing candlestick is clearly the answer, but why? This I cannot fathom. Why hide secret machines in a place of prayer? And where are the faithful? Why are there drag marks about the altar? And if so as if someone was pulled away. Okay, so we need to find a candlestick. Um, I don't see any drag marks. Where are the drag marks? I'm not seeing any drag marks in the sky. Um, oh my god, machinery. Why would there be machinery in here? That's what I want to know. What does this do? Oh, it doesn't work. My cat is like pawing at the door trying to get in. Um, I have to lock my cat out of my room when I'm recording. She doesn't get, like, if I'm like talking at my computer, she doesn't get it. And she like... She meows at me as if I'm talking to her, but I'm not. Um, I don't think it's going to be in one of these aisles, because that'd be really tedious to look for. So I'm just going to check um, over here, where I haven't looked before. And she's really trying to get in. Stop it! Stop it! She's really distracted. Like, I think I'm safe here. If I just, if Mandis stayed here for the rest of the, like, game, he'd be safe, I think. They flock to us now, where once I had to walk among them to bring salvation into their lives. Oh, so this is Father Jeremiah. Now drawn by warmth and winter, by the food that Mandis distributes, my church is full and my charges are saved. He walks amongst them and they almost worship him. He will not allow them to work in his factories, Claiming that his work purse are especially trained for the new machinery he uses, and that it would be irresponsible, nay unethical, to risk such precious lives as he sees here. A changed man since Mexico, it is to be praised that in the face of such appalling tragedy and from the confines of a sickbed as he is often chained to, he conducts one of the greatest and most benevolent charities in all of London. Not to content with the rise to become the dominant food produce business in the land, he distributes his goodwill, his fares to the poor, and they congregate about his kingdom in gratitude. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's not doing it for nothing. I'm pretty sure he's gonna, he's putting you on the line to be slaughtered. Oh, here's the candlestick. Um, go in here. What's in here? I know where that is, so I don't, I can, like, leave it. Ugh, these doors are ridiculous. I mean, they're, they're pretty doors and stuff, but it's a little bit ridiculous. Okay, so that leads back, back there. Okay, let's grab this. And, like, if the saboteur didn't want us to make progress, why wouldn't they just go bury this in the yard somewhere? I'm pretty sure I would never find it. That didn't do anything. Let's go try that switch again. Oh, it's lit now. Eh. Let's check my journal. Infernal machinery. The engine fires. The flames are stoked. I hear the steam in the walls vibration upon the very air. My heart falters at the prospect of throwing the lever and exposing the workings of this dark contraption, but my children beckon me. 
me on and I cannot fail them. Oh God. Wait, did I just get another one? Holy shit. A hellish portal. It appears I have no choice. Thus I descend and may God have mercy upon my soul. If this is my Bethlehem and I am to be cast as Matthews, then I will wear that mantle for the sake of my boys and face whatever horse lies beneath the altar. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're going to have an, an altercation down here with one of the beasts we've been seeing because everything I've been reading so far sounds like we're going to have some kind of encounter and I'm not enjoying that. This is very creepy. Oh, I, uh, I hear pigs. I don't fucking like this. There's definitely, ooh, here's one of the chests. And in, in the dark descent, if I saw one of these, I'd be like, heck yeah, there's gonna be fucking oil in there. But I don't have to worry about oil in this game, which is amazing. Listen, Papa, hold the egg to your ear. You can hear the sea. Yeah, not that, I don't, uh, Yeah, well, there's always like dead, there's dead rats on these potatoes. No, no, please. There's something in here. There's something in here with me. Fuck. Fuck. What exhumation is this? What rotten fruit? What he stitching of parts? I doubt I will ever be found. Yet I leave you this scrawled in the malodorous half light whilst my tormentor shuffles below. My prison, my fellow prisoners keen and squeal in the gloom. And where I wait for those knuckling upon my cage that signifies this, finally turn to make that dark journey into the interior. I think there's. I think. Please no! Stop. Hi, dude. I'll try, but I don't know where I'm going. I think there's something. It has something. That the mo the monsters have something to do with the camera flickering, because every time the camera flickered, the monster appears. I don't know if that's it, but. It literally turned. Stop it. Stop it. Please. Stop it. Stop it. I said. Stop it. Stop it. I don't. I can't turn out my light down here. I can't. That's not an option because it's too dark to see anything. I literally can't find my way out if I turn. Like, in the darkest set. If I turned my lantern out, you could at least see enough to move around. But look at this. It's completely dark. I cannot see anything in here. Well, actually I can't. But like, I can't run like that. I have to keep it out. In this game, you don't have a choice. Now I'm fucking screwed. It's down here. It is fucking down here. There's something down here. And I'm going to have to encounter with it. Please tell me I can get in here because if I can't, I'm just gonna have like a five minute break in here because I can't deal with this. I can't fucking deal with it. It's too much. It is too much for me to deal with. Get in. Okay, I can't get in there. But I can certainly hide right here if something finds me. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have an encounter down here. I feel it in my fucking bones. And I'm scared, like, like in the dark descent, I wasn't, like this is scaring me a lot more. I don't know why, because from, from everything I've read, the dark descent scared people more than this game, but I'm getting scared. I am, I'm scared. I'm fucking terrified. I don't like this. And if I fucking see my cam my light do something, I'm hiding. Because I know that it means a monster. I know it now. It's proven. It's doing it, it's doing it. Back up, back up. 
Where is it though? Oh, there it is! It's down here! It really is down here! There's a monster! Oh my fucking god, look at that fucking abomination of hell. Please, Mandis, don't, don't do anything stupid. Because it's right there, Mandis. It really is. It's gonna kill you. Oh my god, it sounds like it's crying. Oh my fucking god! How am I supposed to get around that? It's a very small window. That is a very small window of opportunity. Unless there's a way I can get around it over there. Which I, I don't see. Mandis, back up! This is dangerous. This is a lot more dangerous than the other game. Stop moving around! Don't look at it. Don't look at it. do this you guys this is fucking too much i can't do this fucking god i thought the treasure was supposed to be safe My heart is beating a mile in the too much game. This game is way too scary for me. I can't do it. Fucking pig. It fucking hit me. It got me. I know what I have to do. I know now. Once it comes over here and it goes there, I'm fucking bolting. I'm getting out. Is it gone? Actually, it might be gone. I think it's gone, you guys. Let's get out. Oh, thank God. Fucking Jesus, I can't do this anymore. And so did the stoking. The fog will not lift. The ship is becalmed. Everyone lies in the half-light, waiting to drown in the dry air. He is the paperweight that bought, that ballasts them all. Them. No game has ever scared me that much. No game has ever done that. I'm fucking terrified. I can't do this. 
Like this is so much more scary than the other games. I don't know what anyone else is talking about. Oh, here's another secret door. I think we're going to be safe for now because we just had a big encounter. And I don't know if they're going to throw another one at me. Oh, not another one of these. Oh, but it's empty, so I guess we don't have to worry about it. Um. Wow. I really love these outdoor zones. But my frame rates definitely do take a dive out here. This is huge. How am I supposed to explore this all? But it's really pretty. I love this. I love this game. I'd almost say I'm... Water in his shoes. Always the water and the sparks of the embers of the wheels. It's too bony. It's too damn bony. of what I've seen. Mine does too. But at least I have reached the main part of the factory. Now onwards, downwards, to find those flood waters and drain them away. Like Moses, I will cleave the waters and lift my little darlings clear of his vile cradle. <sighs> don't trust Amandus. I don't think it's a good idea. I think you're being lied to. Because we've seen them. They're in the house. I mean, we also saw them in the cellar, but are you sure you're really seeing them? Are you sure? Because I'm not so sure anymore. I don't know. I can't be sure of anything. These men, Professor, these so-called men of vision, they would shackle the masses to a wheel and turn it till their backs break. All for that opiate, the lure of profit. These fools who lackey them, these priests, these officials, this government. They make pigs of us all. But what solution, my dear man? How to break a cycle? You cannot simply remove the promise of a better world for these unfortunates. In the workhouses, in the orphanages, the belief in heaven is surely the only sucker one can find. We do not need to wait. We can bring forth paradise now. We can speed the passion. With only a small sacrifice, we can hold the apocalypse. With just a small sacrifice, we can free our shackles and deliver them to paradise now. You sound fucking crazy, dude. You sound crazy. I'm very worried about the purpose of this machine he's been building. Like, what? What? I don't even know. Is it like a doomsday device? Like, I don't even know. Okay, so we officially have entered the machine. And with that, I think I'm going to end the video here. I know it's um, a little bit earlier than I wanted to. Like, I think I do. I am. Like, my video aim is like 25 minutes. Five minutes. Like, the minimum is 25 minutes, and the maximum is like 30 minutes. Like, that's how, how long I try to make my videos. But um, this one's going to be a little bit shorter because I don't want to go. Um, because this is like a new area and we just finished that whole section, so I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Thanks for bearing with my panic attacks. That's, um, one freak out per episode so far. Like, I, I need a break. Like, I can't go to anymore. Like, I can barely talk. I'm shivering and my voice is quivering and I'm too scared to press on. So, like, goodbye. Um, I'll probably record more Monday probably um yeah Monday um so that so I should have enough videos to last me till then so thanks anyway bye guys